Hey guys, um, so not at the cottage, I'm actually at home, um, but last time we are at the cottage, my outboard motor crapped out on me. Uh, it would just cut out as I was trying to uh, use it. So uh, it's a 9.8 horsepower Mercury uh, gas, obviously. And as you can see, I took it apart. Um, and what I actually discovered was the water pump died on it. So this is just a quick video in case this comes in handy. So this is a, I think it's like a 90, 1985, maybe 86 motor. <clears throat> so this is their lower end that I already took off. Um, and what actually broke was the impeller. So this is the replacement impeller that I bought. Um, actually, I bought two different kits because there's a very slight difference um, in the diameter of, uh, um, of of the impeller. So it's depend dependent on the size of the shaft and apparently they were a couple of different sizes. Um, but this is what's left of the, <laughs> the old impeller. So it was just in pieces. Um, so essentially just wasn't pumping water through the motor and the motor was overheating and crapping out on me. Um, so anyways, so to take this piece off, it's pretty simple. Um, there's one, one bolt that's in there and another one is this one here and you screw it in through the top and I'll show you guys um, once I'm ready to put this thing together. So, um, so this is the part of the water pump itself um, and that's where this thing sits in there. And uh, yeah, so pretty, pretty straightforward. I just cleaned it up, put some new uh, fresh grease in the bearing as well. And now I'm just gonna put it back, uh, I'll put it back together so you guys can see how it goes. All right. Oh, also just another thing is, so normally you shouldn't put this in a vise. Um, I was super careful because this is all aluminum, so it's pretty soft. Um, but I did put it between two pieces of wood um, and I was being super careful. I don't have the proper stand for it here. Um, I just needed, you know, some way to kind of, some way to hold this thing straight uh, to, so I can actually do some work on it. But anyways, let's get to it. Okay, so there's a couple of bushings. Gently tap on this. Make sure it gets seated. So the tricky part here is there is a key. I don't know if you guys can see that. That key goes into, there's a groove in the impeller somewhere. It's right there. So what you need to do is you need to actually put this key on the shaft and then make sure when you push the impeller down, it slides into that little groove. So um, apparently the trick is just to put a dab of grease on the key itself, oops, the grease should hold it in place, provided right, you can get it in there. I can't really see, I'm old and blind. Where's my flashlight? So I can actually see what I'm doing here. Put my 
trusty screwdriver. Okay. Here we go. Here I'll show you guys. So the key is right there. He's just sitting on the shaft and the grease is holding him in place. And now what we're going to do is going to align this with where the key is. And Ooh, this week smush this guy in okay so that's step number one now as you can see the impeller needs to move and then these blades actually need to align so they're facing the right way so typically the motor spins clockwise right so we gotta fix some of these blades here make sure that they're spinning the right way so we just take the screwdriver again i need two hands for this so hopefully you guys can see this Then, uh, okay, there's more. See, you guys can see there's still pieces of the old impeller in there. trying to get this guy seated in there and there's a little thing there he's all good we're good to go now the trick's gonna be to make sure we get this copper tube into the right spot and now we gotta get those gears in there oops i guess that didn't work so we gotta make sure that we get this um, that copper tube that you can see here Make sure we get that in the right spot and then I'm gonna put these these two in there and then the shaft's gotta go all the way in there I know it's kind of hard to see but it's gonna get right in the, in the right spot so hopefully we can get everything aligned and get this baby in there oh so guys let's give it a go
dab of grease on these. Take two. This took <clears throat> a lot longer than I wanted it to. So I was having problems with aligning the, the gear shaft. Um, I couldn't remember what position it was in when I took it off. So if you're doing this, make sure you remember what, uh, what position the gear was in. But I think I finally got it. So now it's just a matter of getting this bolt on and then I just gotta push this all the way back in. But so the, the gear shaft is actually in here and it goes in there and that's the linkage for the forward forward and reverse and neutral and uh it just like it, i couldn't get it in like it would just go in a little bit and would get stuck so um so yeah so i'm just gonna put this bolt back on and then here is the other one um and then we're done so whew, what a pain but finally done Hopefully, hopefully this new impeller will work because <laughs> if I have to redo this again, I'm going to cry. Um, but at least I kind of now know what to do. So um, everything's a learning experience. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this was uh, helpful uh, to somebody trying to fix this motor uh, that's not cooling. Um, and I'll see you on the next video.